The brewery site is done. What? It's not what? It you're right. It's not responsive. And the carousel. Yeah, the carousel. Carousel wasn't the best, was it? Yes, I know. It's not done done, but it's done. As in, I'm done with it. It's not that I like leaving things unfinished. In reality, I really, I hate leaving things unfinished. But um, this has been dragging on for a long time. It was supposed to be one design video and one coding video. And as you might, or as you do know, because if you're watching this, I'm assuming you watched the whole thing. Uh, it's turned into seven coding videos now. And it's just really dragging out. And the other thing is, I got this really cool email from, I'm going to say your name wrong and I apologize, Gayatri P. And, well, let's let's take a look right here at what um, Gary Yatri, can I call you Gary? Gayatri um, did. And he emailed this to me way back, like a long time ago, when I think I was on like the second coding video. And what he did is he forked what I'd originally created, the, the starter file, and he did it himself. He took it on him on his own to code it up and make this cool site. And it's responsive. And the carousel on it, man, it puts mine to shame. Um, and I think that's really awesome that on his own he did this just as a challenge to himself. And seeing what he did with it and what he was able to do with it without even following my videos. He did this just out of, you know, just for fun. He put it all together, sent me an email just to say, hey, check this out. I did this. Maybe you'd be interested in seeing it. And I was super happy that he did. It's really, really cool. Now, as far as this, this is a recap video. I want to look back at this and mostly talk about what I would have done differently because... Yeah, there are things I would have done differently. The first obvious one is the carousel. The carousel just doesn't look very nice. Um, I started off thinking about this idea of using um, the grid in this way a while ago, and I made a code pen just with some colored blocks, and the, it was like just these different shades of color, and it cycled through just like this one, and I liked what it looked like. With the colored blocks, no text, it looked pretty nice. It was kind of cool. So I assumed it would work, and it was just a complete failure as far as I'm concerned. If this was something I was building for a client, I would have just had to have scrapped the whole thing and found a different solution because it didn't really give the proper effect that we were after. Um, another thing, while I was uh, watch or editing my videos, and it's really cool when you edit your videos because you see all the mistakes you're making. Um, and actually speaking of mistakes, uh, another thing before I get to what I wanted to say just there reminded me um, a lot of you guys give comments saying that you like my style and that I don't edit out my mistakes you like seeing that I'm how I fix things and that I'm not a robot and that everybody makes mistakes and so I, I do appreciate that you like that I think this series was a little rougher around the edges more so than usual um, I was going back into the code changing things in the markup um, coming back into my thing, realizing that wasn't working, going back, adding classes, changing the markup again. Maybe a little bit more realistic. If you're a complete beginner, maybe a little bit too much back and forth. Um, I do like leaving in my mistakes. I don't leave all of them in. If only you knew how many mistakes I actually made, because uh, there's a few more than what I you, you normally see or how long sometimes it takes to fix them. But... Um, I think it's important that you see that there's mistakes in there, and so I, I like that you like that, but normally I'm going to go for a little bit more polished. I'm still going to keep that with my videos, but a bit more polished going forward uh, than this one. It was done sort of in a bit of a rush in a way, which is why I'm all, you know, it was a little bit, even the finished result isn't the best. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say that I would have done differently, and this is what I learned when I was editing it, because when you're editing your video, you're seeing what you're doing afterwards, and sometimes cool other ideas pop into your mind. And this is always fun for me and one of the reasons I enjoy editing my videos. Um, and what I thought about was using CSS variables in a better way. The whole card system I came up with, you know, where it was like the picture with the box next to it and then there was a different colored one later on, that could have been done much with a lot less effort <laughs> um, if I'd used CSS custom properties. The way I did it worked, but um, CSS custom properties are great for theming and people think of theming as in I'm going to theme my site so I can have four different colored themes.
but you can also theme components and easily change the look of different components through like having your different themed ones and it literally means changing one class in one place and then the whole thing just the color scheme changes uh, and I will be making videos on this because I think it's a really powerful thing uh, I've seen it start being used I've seen some tweets on it but I think it's something that really needs to be shared and it, it's such a cool thing um, and yeah I, I really wish I had done that or thought of that when I was coding it and not when I was editing it uh, a couple weeks later. But if we go back to what um, Gayatri P had done with my design, and it's the reason I feel comfortable having left those mistakes in, not having fixed them, not having made it responsive, and it's because it leaves you the opportunity to keep learning and keep pushing yourself. Um, I know that sounds kind of lame and uh, maybe it's just like, oh, Kevin, you're just being lazy, you're, you're putting the work on us, you know, uh, maybe it's a bit of a cop-out, I guess, but I do think part of the learning process, and it's great, if you followed along this far, you have a rough idea of what's going on, at the very least, if not a pretty good idea of what's going on, and I think challenging yourself instead of just following along how someone else would do it can be useful. If you've never done a responsive site with Grid, this could be a nice, you know, thought experiment for yourself to try and figure out how you might approach it. Um, Maybe just the carousel. How could you just rip that carousel apart and actually get it looking good? These can be fun things you could do on your own that are really going to help you learn uh, by, by discovering on your own. And if you do that and you do want to share it with me because you're happy with the result, I'd be super glad to see it. Unlike what um, Gayatri had done, I'm not going to be featuring them. But um, I've had a few people asking, and I sort of started with the SVG challenge. So the SVG challenge, if you don't know, was a challenge I put out a long time ago um, when I finished up the SVG series on, now you guys make some SVG stuff, and I'm going to feature it. And that's coming up very, very soon. So if you've been waiting for that, that video is coming. I apologize, I've been crazy busy. But that video is coming up very, very shortly. And... Um, I want to do a little bit more of that. I want to be challenging you guys to do things that I'm not necessarily showing in my videos and either it could be just sharing through social media or occasionally I'll be doing videos probably where I'm featuring some stuff you did a little bit like my SVG challenge um, where you're not just following along with what I'm doing and I think it's, you know, to encourage that type of thing is always good. So yeah, go ahead, make something awesome from this, make it better, email me and I'll be super happy to check it out and get back to you on it uh, after I take a look at it. Now, that's it for this video pretty much. Part of the reason I do want to end this now at 7 videos is I have a lot of cool ideas and fun things sort of bubbling around in my head that I need to get started on. They've been festering there for a long time now. I was hoping to have started these earlier, um, so there'll be some announcements coming up in the next couple of weeks too about some new things for this channel and all of that, but until that, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.